Hi friends, you're back with me, your friend for biology, Professor Girish Kukreja. Today we'll be talking about uh, this wonderful kingdom of Protesta. Yeah, it seems to be very diverse as it is like one is remaining in yet yet, right? So Protestants, uh, when you talk about the five kingdom system of classification, we have um, the most diverse kingdom with uh, very, uh, what you call as um, ill-defined boundaries that is your Protestants, right? Uh, so without wasting much time, we have these protista, they are single celled and eukaryotes. So you have to remember that if it is a single cell, if it is unicellular and if it is a eukaryote, it is a protista without fail, right? So their boundaries, as I told, are very defined, but primarily you will find that they are aquatic. So you will find them a lot in water, right? So they are forming a link with the other kingdoms. Your uh, monerans, they are unicellular prokaryotes, protestants, they are... Uh, unicellular eukaryotes and the other higher ones, your plants, animals and fungi. These protestants, they are forming a link between these monerans and your higher, what you call as kingdoms. They have very defined nucleus, um, like as they are eukaryotes, they have a very defined nucleus, they have membrane mound organelles and they have flagella and cilia for locomotion, depending on the types it will vary. They show both asexual and sexual reproduction where they show the formation and the fusion of gametes. Now, one by one, now these uh, protestants classified as your gryosophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids, slime molds, no place for protozoa, <laughs> but we'll, we'll catch them up in the next video, right? So we have one more that is protozoa. So don't forget them, they are not here. So we have cryosophytes, dinoflagellates, euglenoids and slime molds. So cryosophytes are diatoms and golden algae, that is your desmids. Um, they are found both in fresh and marine water. They are microscopic. They float passively uh, like your planktons and they are photosynthetic. So uh, they are making their own food. Uh, they have a cell wall with uh, overlapping surfaces uh, which fit into each other like a soap box uh, which are embedded with silica which make them indestructible. So don't try to destroy them, they are indestructible. So they send deposits of these particular cryosophytes like billions of uh, years ago. They are now forming what is called as diatomaceous earth, which is now gritty in uh, what you call as its texture. And because of that, it's used in polishing and filtration of your oils and your syrups, right? Uh, being photosynthetic, they are the chief producers in your ocean. So uh, they are uh, going to be the uh, starters of the food chain, not the starters which you order in the hotel. <laughs> so you have dinoflagellates, which are mostly marine. Uh, they are also photosynthetic. So... I'm, I'm, I really love these photosynthetes because they are going to prepare their own food, they prepare the food for us, they, they barely harm us, right, but these do a bit. Uh, we have different colors, you have red, yellow, green, brown, wow, and um, that is because of the different pigments which they have. Uh, they have a cell wall uh, which is made of uh, cellulose stiff plates, uh, which outer covering which is there is made of these cellulose stiff plates. They have flagella, yes, not one but two. Uh, one longitudinal and other is the uh, transversely placed uh, between those cellulose cliff plates. You will find the transversely placed flagella and one which is a longitudinal. Uh, one famous dinoflagellate like uh, we know the red dinoflagellates like guanalix uh, which are responsible for those red tides. Uh, and uh, they, are, they may produce various toxins and which are toxic to your marine animals, right? Uh, then we have this class uh, euglenoids. Uh, somewhere like I, I think that they are linking our plants and animals because uh, they can change their mode of nutrition wonderful they can be autotrophic and they can be also heterotrophic at times so they are found in fresh water mainly in the stagnant water they do not have cell wall like going towards the animals now uh, these both they were uh, more plant like and now uh, this is also like a bit plant and a bit animal like but doesn't have a cell wall but has a protein layer uh, which is called as the pellicle uh, which makes their body a bit flexible. Uh, they also have two flagella, uh, one longer one and one shorter what you call as flagella, so uh, dissimilar in size flagella. Um, in the presence of light, they perform photosynthesis. In the absence of light, they are heterotrophic. Wow, so nice. They can like, if they wish, they'll uh, prepare their own food if light is there. If there is no light, they can eat anything which they have, right? So in presence of light, photosynthetic in absence of light, they are heterotrophic. Um, they are pigments when they are photosynthesizing, like they are similar to higher plants, right? Example is your euglena. Uh, we have slime molds. More fungi like uh, which are saprophytic, um, uh, which are growing on and spreading on this dead decaying twigs and leaves. Uh, remember whenever the conditions are suitable, so under favorable conditions they form an aggregation which is called as plasmodium. Uh, don't confuse this plasmodium with the another plasmodium which you are going to meet in protozoa. 
it's not a protozoan yet. So under favorable or suitable condition, they form an aggregation called as plasmodium, which spreads several feet. And when the conditions are not favorable, they form what is called as uh, elaborate fruiting bodies. And these fruiting bodies, they now uh, produce spores which have true walls. And it is these spores which can survive actually um, the adverse environmental conditions. So they are resistant and they can survive for years we should learn from these spores that they can survive under adverse environmental conditions and yes they are spread uh, to different places uh, through air currents so this is the diverse kingdom of protista stay tuned for one protestant which still remains that is your protozoa which is more animal like so you have chrysophytes you have band flagellates you have iglionites and you have slime molds thank you so much